here I am now at the point where the rod is pointing to the answers that I at least am looking for. I am being prevented by the weather moving forward, and I want to make certain that if what is being prevented is permanent when it comes to me, that you two at least know what was going on before it happened. Anyone you want to share that information with, fine with me. Now, you and anyone else in the future who, in fact, arrives at the gate Purgatory, or I shouldn't say purgatory, to the point that decides whether or not you go into purgatory uh, or are sentenced or are sent forward. When you arrive there, you will know that you have arrived. You may have died or not died. You'll know you've arrived when you arrive at a door and outside that door, on your side of the door, there will be a red chair. On that chair will be sitting Jennifer. She won't say anything. But record the fact that you have arrived in her black box. You may see me because I'm to escort a specific number of people there, primarily the 13 who will form the board of directors. Now, you may say, how can you prove this? My answer to you is, I have evidence no proof exists for anyone until they arrive there. Therefore, leaving the doubt to each individual to deal with as they choose. But whatever decision they make before they get there, they will one day see Jennifer sitting at a door in a place they've never seen before. Whether they got there because they died or were assisted before they died to get there, it will be known them at that time. The question that remains for all of the people once whatever is found here is found here, if it can in fact be extracted while I'm here, it will be made public. If it's being prevented from extracting it, somebody takes it and hides it from the world, then I want you to know what it is that occurred. If there are any questions with the information you have at this point that I might be able to answer? other than 
the temple complex in Jerusalem, 34 acres. The farm here is 34.2 acres. Are you the life tenant on the D? Converts the races. I beg your pardon? Somebody. I was going to ask, ask Glenn, are you the the life tenant on the deed? Is that what you are? Your status on the deed of the property? I am a tenant on a property was legally purchased by two women whose names are on the deed. Letters right. have been given, for example, to insurance companies saying, that I am considered an owner. Yeah. You're allowed to live there and do maintenance and everything like that, but they have the ownership okay. or whatever. But Legal you have piece of paper, uh, but no longer do they have any financial right. debt because that debt that they put up the funds when it was originally purchased, has been repaid to them. Satisfied, yeah. So, yeah, that means that you can't be kicked off the property, though, because you have that. So you're allowed to stay there your entire life. (laughs) Not for any legal reason be kicked off the property. Right. We don't live in a world (laughs) where the people who write laws live by them. You saw what they did to try and keep Jennifer out of here. Oh, yeah. just want you guys to think about all of this for a while. Yeah. How we watch to see if the weather changes, make it possible for us to do some work here. If we continue like the boat in Antarctica, be stuck in ice, passengers remove a helicopter. The the staff of ships are left behind. One way or another, we are the promised land. We are here is a place that was intended rather than the one who took it for granted because they were number one. Oh, the this, root. this thing, uh, I remember going this, looking at this a while ago. This whole cold thing is called uh, a nor'easter. You well, the, the destruction is more northwest. Earth is northeast for our purposes. There is a, a location in the country called the Northwest Angle, which uh, is on the Canadian side of the border, but American property because of the way the boundary was determined by the French. The mm-hmm. Treaty of Paris basically what set the stage for drawing the boundaries between Canada and the United States. Harris basically suggests Pa, father, or fat, her, pregnant woman. IRS. Money comes in to them through tax collection. Tax collection is you always make a profit. Like the dealer in poker, they get 15% off the top. So there is a mother superior. She has a cabinet. Cabinet of the mother superior, like the second planet from the sun, Venus, is linked to the word revenue. Closest planet to the sun is Mercury. In French, Mercury, Mother Superior. And then we come in 
third place as the year, earth, the year. We listen in on the rest of the universe. No one here has all the answers. The answers are in Jennifer and in my deciphering of what she doesn't know how to decipher because it lives in her subconscious and is produced as art. What the system received from creation was basically 19 answers out of 20. Each one good to within 4%. So what that basically relates to is if you're making decisions and you have 19 things that are correct out of 20, there's a good chance you can move along through guesses. However, if you make one mistake close to the beginning, your angle increases dramatically the further out from the point of beginning. And that's basically what's gone wrong since Enoch on day one was given the information by creation. Missing parts may only be one twentieth, five percent. However, five percent close to a dot, not very much. Five percent three and a half billion years later may be more than what can be dealt with. When did that's you think, where we are. When did you think uh the system learned that they uh made this mistake that they uh Well they were told when Saint Bernard sent a small group of priests Freemasons to the Middle East. We know that because that's when genetic engineering became known in the West. The East having built Asia and Persia knew that there was another part they hadn't dealt with and that involved the past and the future. And Africa was the past In Europe or the West was the future. They knew it existed, but they hadn't been there. The priests that were called to Jerusalem on the pretext of defending or regaining control of the birthplace of Jesus were in fact brought to be told how one goes about reanimating a dead person. The answer to that was you're not reanimating the person themselves. You're reanimating a new person through an egg made by a woman, but you can modify that person with the characteristics of a dead one. If you know the recipe for the type of person you want to make, you choose from the dead ones which ones resemble the ones you want to make. You extract from the egg those things you don't want and insert the things you do want so that you can end up with a person who in its first life, used to say no more often than not, now end up with a person who does exactly the same task but says yes. Nothing a slave master wants more than slaves who believe that they're coming up with their own solutions, are doing their own thing. And in fact, 
all they're doing is living out a program. And until they learn they are a program and make a conscious effort to dissect that program and then make the decisions required to escape the program, they are all zombies, walking dead. Learning how to uh, reanimate people like that. Is that what the Knights Templars, when they went to Jerusalem? Uh, um, learned. That's what they learned. They came back and they told the Vatican, which basically is a complex and includes a science lab. They took them to the Lascaux Caves in France, recuperated some coprolite off one of the cave floors, took it back to the Vatican Science Lab, removed the outside layer, if you will, it's not exactly that because it's all mixed together, removed the part that we would call shit, and leaving behind the part that is known as DNA. DNA is another word for soul, personality. Then the DNA was placed in a vat, an amniotic fluid made up, which had been basically made for that time from uh, royals and was the sap of a fruit tree most likely an orange, they, in fact, then placed a genetically modified egg within that fluid, and there was born an artificial baby, which, in fact, became the monarchy of Monaco. Those are the ones who, uh, I think, like, one of the oldest. Yeah, well, from from that period in time, which was around 1100 A.D. So all the development that ends the period of darkness for Europe and turns to a period of unprecedented development in art and uh, manufacturing and industry and everything begins once they've learned the lesson of genetic engineering. Then they have to be taught the lesson of how much of a person is left to be socially engineered after birth. The evidence for that is done with twins. You take two identical twins and you raise one in Russia and the other one in Africa, for example, and you would end up modifying the existing traits of each individual based upon the environmental changes that occur when a person is raised one type of environment as opposed to another. They come to realize you can make them anything you want. Anything. As long as they have the basic instructions of what you want in the end, how they deal with people going to be based upon their personality. That part requires six years. You give them six years with their parent. The word is pa rent. Pa rents out children. You just get to pay for them. As soon as they reach the age of six, you can't be trusted to raise them properly, so they take them out of your hands. 
you provided them with what they wanted as a family orientation, but when it comes to education, they want it to be standard to the gene pool. Each country, each state, each city can be modified slightly so that the same gene pool handles things differently. That's why New York is different from California. Texas is different from Montana. You code their language and you code their accent and you code their mannerisms so that even if they won't tell you, you, the controller, know where they fit. What gene pool did they come from by whether they use the fork in their right hand or left hand or want chopsticks? What place do they come from if they use the word us? as opposed to us. I've noticed little things like that, little nuances. Yeah. Makes it difficult for spies on the system to get away with spying when, in fact, the minute they pick up their fork, they're detected. They showed that in that film, uh, Glorious Bastards. Funny how they, they called it Bastards. Mm-hmm. It's inglorious. We are all bastards to some extent, <laughs> some more than others. We are all Jewish because that's where the uh, work on a mass of people began when they left Egypt and went into Israel. The name Israel is based upon Sarai, the wife of Abraham, and therefore it suggests that she was there when he was setting up booths in the deserts of Jordan for 40 years, and in fact 40 years was the average lifespan. So 40 years was intended to get rid of the people who knew the women who were taken to Israel once they reached the Red Sea. I don't want to tell you that both the men and the women traveled together, but when they got to the Red Sea, the women turned left and the men turned right. None of it got back together again because that's the lifespan, 40 years. But if you could live beyond 40 years, you'd know something about what was going on. So when Moses got to the promised land, God would not let him in. Now, at that time, who were the people that was ma managing this? I know the computer, the computers managed this on a very large scale, but it seems like the... Uh, Neanderthal was homo erectus, that they, they played a role in, in, in guiding these movements. The Neanderthalers can best be described by the name Essene. And they, they use a number of names for them. Ebunite is another one. Poor Me is another one. They use in secret, poor me means I'm root. And they came down from the Balkans, and we've discussed before how they met with a certain group of women from Africa who had come from Libya, territory of North Africa. And these were women who could not bear clones of themselves, didn't quite understand what the problem was, but they were different from the other women, much like nuns are different from the other women. But then they walked around the Mediterranean to the Black Sea 
and the guys, Neanderthalers, came down from the Baltics, and they found that copulation was the answer. You need an egg, and you need some fertilization to occur. You need to use a container that will hold the amniotic fluid. Then once the Neanderthalers got used to understanding that, they then knew that they could artificially change the system where they wouldn't have to use the container called woman, but could use a scientific type beaker in order to manufacture the amniotic fluid after testing many versions of it and getting the timing down of how long you take to extract the life force out of the frozen, cryogenically frozen species and then use that amniotic fluid to put an egg, which they collected by creating religion and sacrifices, rituals, and all of that stuff. When they found out they, uh, they didn't need the women, the container called women, they, this is probably like, uh, the point when they would, I guess, had that disagreement because they just felt like they didn't need them. Is that like, uh, yeah, they, uh, tried to drown them all. Women found out, got out of the way, but then the Neanderthalers started on a chase for them. And Neanderthalers, the women and the Neanderthalers, crossed back across the Middle East going south, but the women turned on the other side of the Mediterranean and went west, while the Neanderthalers went straight through and ended up in places like Somalia and Madagascar. And the women, being afraid that the word would get out they were in Africa, made their way across the ocean to South America only to discover that both of them ended up at the same place, Antarctica, one coming off the tip of South America, the other one coming across the Indian Ocean. I mean, we're talking here about there can be thousands of years between each one of these steps. But eventually, they found that they could, in fact, use women to get information that couldn't be had by men, from men. Therefore, began to convert women to a person that would more suit their needs and what better vehicle to use than nuns so basically like it's almost like a in a sense like a they have like a the fight between each other and they use homo sapiens as basically tools for their own both of them used to Don't forget, they changed it to from homo, which when they say homo ecce, behold the human, to homo sapien, and later homo sapien sapien. So that suggests that at one stage of the game, they learned the importance of sap used it to make changes. But for the end times, the type of sap they were using was not sweet enough. They found that sweet sap they were looking for from fruit trees at the beginning to trees that don't bear fruit called maple. And In Ogdensburg, they put what seems to be a a fish 
as the design of their downtown core. But a fish is only a double helix and a half. The half makes it look like a tail on a fish. It seems like they both seem to agree to rule over other people and stay hidden. Because they seem, when you go into different coasts, they're both worshipped by the people there. Yeah. They have different factions, different divisions, and they compete with each other as media, which I refer here simply to the press. But they have other media, police, doctors, lawyers, architects, engineers, every group of people that is allowed by the system to judge their own when they do something wrong rather than send them to court. And then recently they found out that the people who are judging their own are letting them off scot-free. So they're not living up to the standards set out by the original. And therefore, they've had to start arresting priests, nuns, doctors, lawyers, policemen, soldiers. I was just thinking, like, you know, how you have that role where you'll be walking these characters to uh you know to, to be judged on or on the way out after they're judged. Um you think uh, these other people like uh Neanderthalers or Amazonians will be in that uh courtroom? Everybody that's ever lived and died or on the last day and not necessarily died, have to be separated. And when there is a doubt as to a person's real reasons for wanting to move out of this area, no chance can be taken that that person will infect or infest the new universe. <clears throat> Therefore, anytime there's a doubt, there has to be someone who says, no, no free pass. And that's basically the red chair at the door of the court. Now, at that point, if someone's alive, would they remove the medulla and let them sit there? Or are they still going to be having that in their head while they're trying to answer all these questions. It needs to be removed. Or turned off. It just needs to be played. Now, no human being with any program on the earth has all the answers. I have more than most. Jennifer has more than most but can't express them in words and express them in paintings. And from what I understand is that the three of us basically represent third African, me, Caucasian, and you, Danny, someplace in the middle. That, the fact that we are three different colors, suggests we're three different pools. And therefore, we have a role to play because what we know, consciously or subconsciously, has to be extracted. I suspect that, Danny, you are somewhat like Jennifer and you will speak through your music. And the links to Japan are important because Israelis and Japanese got together. The Israeli moves that correspond to each letter, the 22 letters they have in the Israeli alphabet, are really moves 
that people make in fighting. And it was that instruction that was given by the Israelis to the Japanese when they devised the samurai movement or any of the martial arts that are practiced in Asia. They stand in a way that depicts the shape of the original Hebrew letters. And samurai had to be removed as the main feature of Japan and converted to a monarchy system with a level of importance given to different tasks and the military being relegated to a minor role basically were like uh, air in a bubble. It just kind of grew within itself until it blew open and then tried to take over the world type of thing. The U.S., who had participated with Portuguese Jesuits to change the samurai culture to a monarchy and eventually a democracy, bore the brunt of the original attack, which was on Pearl Harbor. The women that are women today are known always for wearing pearls. Anyway, oyster, oyster. We're, we're dealing with a subject that that has a never ending <laughs> aspect to it. So yeah. not gonna get all of the answers on the same day right. if ever, because time is short. But we're all going to the same place. Some of us will exit through the door that takes us to the fifth dimension, and that's the only "quote unquote" heaven there is. And we use the word heaven because we can't use any other word. Because when really there are no other words to explain. Remember that uh, Yale University is in New Haven, Connecticut. New heaven is what they think being made over again as a slave is the best there is. <laughs> They're wrong. That sounds <laughs> more like hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is more like hell. <laughs> Just to be born over and over again as a better slave doesn't <laughs> sound like anything that would be appealing to anybody who'd understand what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's past my bedtime.